All right, today I'm going to teach you the one and only way to lose weight and the four-step algorithm to lose weight. And don't listen to any other bullshit of the uh, weight loss industry. It's the second most unsuccessful industry to the addiction industry. It's got a 95% fail rate. So there is one way to lose weight and one way only. It's to put your body in a calorie deficit, the only way to lose weight. All fad diets uh, that come and go like the hula hoop are just different versions of low calorie diets because your body the first law of thermodynamics is energy is not destroyed it's transferred so you have extra energy in your body because you're eating too much so your body only needs a certain amount of energy to survive every day it's called your resting metabolic rate mine's about 1900 calories per day so i i just sitting around tend to at my size height weight and age my current metabolism seems to burn 1900 calories a day so if I want to lose weight, I got to go under that number. If I want to gain weight, I eat over that number. And guess what? When I do, I do. And when I don't, I don't. So here are the four steps. Number one is you got to weigh yourself every single day. Every single day you wake up, you got to weigh yourself. All right. And you got to record it. That's step number one. It becomes a habit. And you can start to make subconscious adjustments to your weight loss journey. If you're mindful of wanting to lose weight and you're giving your brain data based upon your prior day's behavior. All right. Step number two is you need to count every single calorie that crosses your lips. There's a couple ways to do this. So I use these beads. I have these beads that count calories. So if you can't use a fitness pail, I use them because every time my fat meat hook reaches for food, I see these beads. So I slide these beads over to count the calories every single time. Right. So I use this to count every single calorie that crosses my lip. That's step number two and record that. All right, now for a little bit of time, if you haven't done the resting metabolic rate calculation online, you're gonna start getting your own scientific data. You're gonna see the scale adjust up and down based upon what calories you're eating. You're gonna start having your own real data because your real data is the real data. The calculator's an estimate. Step number three is to put your body in a calorie deficit deliberately. So you know after a little bit of time, let's say a week, what your resting metabolic rate really is, your real data, and now you got to cut things and you got to cut foods out, all right? You got to hack and swap. And one guy lost 30 pounds cutting out Coke and to go into unsweet tea, all right? There's a lot of swaps, but that's not important. What's important is counting the calories that cross your lips. And you can use these beads to almost plan out your, your day and your week. Step number four is the most important one, believe it or not. Your body needs to be properly hydrated, so I use these beads to count uh, units of water. So I drink 10 units of water, and units are about 10 ounces. So you're supposed to drink approximately half your body weight in water, and I easily do that, and you know, there's, there's uh, a lot of science to this, but we grew up eat, drinking water and eating fresh food, food that was recently alive. So if you wanna be healthy, eat foods that were recently alive and drink water mostly, all right? And if it, uh, the rule of thumb is when it comes to food is if it was, uh, if it grows on a plant, eat it. If it was made in a plant, don't. 